Pine North Point family, it's Sean here on behalf of the elders and we really do pray that 2021 would be a fruitful year for you and for your families. I uh, just would like to make an announcement at the start of the year. If you've uh, listened to the President's address on Monday the 11th of January, he announced that uh, due to the second wave of COVID-19 cases and the spike in those cases that we are going to remain on level three of the lockdown. And as part of that level three lockdown, religious gatherings are not permitted. And so we as a, an eldership team have, uh, have decided that it will be wise to pay attention to that. And we will not be meeting in person over the next while until we hear back from the president with regard to religious gatherings. We do trust in Jesus, but we do also believe that it is wise not to um, facilitate the spreading of this virus, which is killing many people at this time. So we're going to be moving to the online platform. We won't be meeting in person here at North Point City Church, but you can join us on Sunday mornings for our services on YouTube. So please join us. Get your families together, uh, friends together, even send out links to family and friends who do not know Jesus and join us so that you can hear the word of God preached to encourage you to keep your eyes fixed upon Jesus Christ. We also want to let you know that you are not alone. So if you do need prayer or counseling, you're welcome to contact any one of the elders or pastors and they'll be happy to pray for you. You can get in touch with them either individually or you can contact us at the church office for prayer and counseling. And then please remember to uh, follow us on our social media platforms. If you're part of the WhatsApp groups or Facebook or Instagram or Twitter, Please join us on our social media platforms so that you can stay abreast with all of the communication as we proceed into the future. So we are thankful for this and I would like to, like to leave you rather with this encouragement from Romans 12 verse 12. It says, rejoice in hope, um, be patient in affliction and constant in prayer. All of these are as a response to worship to God based on the good news of what Jesus Christ has done for us. And so I want to encourage you that we are the people who are called, irrespective of our circumstances, to rejoice in the hope that we have in, in Jesus Christ. And my prayer is that may the God of hope uh, fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit, you may abound in hope. We have a real secure hope in Jesus Christ. And then I want to encourage you to be patient with us as we navigate through this season. It is different. And it will certainly be temporary, but let's be patient and let's persevere in faith and let's uh, endure this with the joy that the Lord provides us. And then let us be a people who are constant in prayer. Let's be praying and trusting and depending on our God who is faithful and would lead us through this. Let's pray for one another. Let's keep in touch with one another and let us navigate through the season with much hope as we hold on to Jesus Christ and hold out this good news to others who need to hear it. May God bless you and we look forward to seeing you soon.